This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome to Kumar Consulting. So guys, once again, I'm back with a different question. So first of all, just look at the question and then I'll explain the answer as well. So here is the question. The question is a uh, user forgotten to apply a check mark on open item management and even few transactions are also posted. Now, open item management need to be activated, but the system is throwing an error while activation. So what is the solution? This question was asked by one of my students. Uh, you know, he appeared in this uh, Deloitte for this interview and all. So look at here, this is the questions for this open item management. And uh, actually he was unable to reply this, but still uh, the technical round is clear and manager round is still remain. Uh, okay, so I'll tell you guys one more thing. One more thing. If you attend any interview and uh, it doesn't mean that you have to reply all the questions, even like if your performance is 60 to 70 percent, if you are giving a current response, current reply, then also your selections will be there. OK, so uh, but of course, whichever questions are being asked, you have to give the logical answer. Now, so uh, this is the question. But how to activate? open item management. OK, so if user is forgotten to apply the check mark. Now, so uh, I'll explain guys, but before that we need to know uh, what is this open item management and uh, what are the accounts which is going to be managed as an open item. Even this question also can be asked by people and I'll tell you guys uh, none of the questions are small because sometimes even a smaller question also can be a reason of your rejections. So before explaining this, how to activate this open item management, we'll do one thing. I'll give a very brief explanations like, uh, you know, what do you mean by open item management or what is this open item management all about and which are the accounts to be managed or supposed to be managed as open item management. So uh, guys, if you talk about, uh, you know, like, or if we talk about the technical point of view, then in technical or configuration point of view, if you talk about configuration point of view, then open item management, as for me, it's just a checkbox, okay? While creation of GL account under control tab are just a checkbox, which is appearing as an open item management, there'll be a checkbox. If you apply a check mark over there, then what is happening system? Then, then all the GLs, whatever the GLs are going to be created, that is, that is assume that this is open item managed GL or open item managed account, but in a functional or a functional point of view, uh, the explanations will be like it's it, it's a going you know open item management is going to or it's it's a kind of control on all the receivables and payables. It means I'll just tell you guys one example here. Whenever you borrow some amount, let's suppose from your friend, then what is happening? we are uh, or you just maintain a diary somewhere so we are going to specify that okay this much amount I have taken from so and so and what we do guys we are going to underline that particular narration or even you can highlight the statement so what is happening it means it is going to remind you or it will be just for the sake of you know, like it is going to remember that yes, I have to make certain amount, certain payment in future. Now, in the same way, whatever the receivables and payables are there. So, if we are going to set up those zeal as in uh, those account as an open item management, then it is also kind of reminder in the sense if if whatever the transactions are getting posted, those transactions will be treated. That is going to be highlighted with a red color symbol. OK, red color symbol and that is going to show that this this transaction is still or this amount is still open. It means uh, whichever the receivables and payables are there, if it is open, it means. The respective payment has not been made yet or the respective payment has not been received yet. OK, so here 
if you uh, make any if you set up any account as an open item management then what will happen guys then whichever transactions are going to be posted against that particular account that sorry that particular account then system is going to then those transactions are going to be posted as an open item and the moment you receive the respective whatever uh, payment or whatever the payable or receivables are there uh, the moment you are going to post the respective transactions or uh, then what will happen in that case one offsetting offsetting entry is going to be posted and this open item is going to be cleared now which are the accounts to be managed as open item management so here uh, first of all all the bank clearing gls uh, you guys might have i know that you all are a CB practitioners so if you guys are able to remember this uh, uh, bank reconciliation configurations okay whether it is manual or EBS whatever it is so let's suppose uh, there we create like uh, incoming bank account that is a clearing GL uh, outgoing bank account so whichever this bank clearing accounts are there okay those bank clearing accounts are going to be set up as open item uh, management GL and then apart from this uh, all different different kind of whichever the payable accounts are there that is also going to be set up as an open item account itself uh, say for example like salary payable or a commission payable or basis wages wages payable uh, apart from this we are having uh, let's suppose freight payable also okay and all the different different whatever the tax payable accounts are there so that is also going to be set up as an open item uh, management uh, you know account itself guys why because whichever the tax payables are there that is a liability we have to make payment to somebody or we are liable to make payment some to somebody so until you make the final payment or until you remit whatever the taxes are there until you uh, make payment uh, to the respective department or uh, whatever this authorities and all then till that this is all what to say transactions are going to be uh you know it will be there at, as open item itself so whatever tax payables uh, gls are there that is also going to be set up as open item management uh, gl itself and apart from this one more very important account or very important gl guys that is called gr ir clearing account you guys are well aware about this during fi mm integration this gl come into picture so even this is also going to be set up as open item management itself so now we'll come back on our main question and the question is user forgotten to apply a check mark on open item management checkbox and even few transactions are also posted now open item management need to be activated but system throw an error while activation so what is the solutions well do one thing guys practically we are going to uh, do this mistake and then practically itself i'll let you know the solution also this is how you guys will be able to understand and even you can give a perfect answer also during interview so let me log in guys okay so we'll use fs00 first of all let me set up a G, uh, one GL account. Let me set up one GL account. Okay. Here, say for example, I'll set up a GL account 2020. Okay. This is a liability GL balance set. And this is like open. Okay, we are going to just going to perform a test itself. So open item test. Any nomenclature can be given guys. Now here, look at here. Okay. We are having this checkbox open item management and just give this sort key here. So I have not applied a check mark here. Okay, knowingly I'm going to make this mistake create bank interest 
give a freely status group and then just save it. So what we have done, guys, I have created, I have created a ZL account 2020 and I forgotten to apply a check mark on open item management. Okay, generally this is open item GL account, but I forgotten to apply a check mark. Now, what is the impact, guys? The impact will be. I'll show you the impact. Uh, but before that, let me post a transaction. Okay, I'll just post a normal JB itself because we have to just perform our testing part itself. So we'll post certain transaction here. Few transactions I'm going to post in different different date. Okay, let's suppose your bank yield and thousand rupees and two zero two zero. This is also thousand rupees. Okay, just press enter twice and post it because I'm posting this transaction in previous period. Once again, 15.01.2019. And here also, 15.01.2019. So, one more transaction I'm going to post. Once again, give you a bank here. Let's sell debit 2000. And then we are having 2020. This is the newly created GL account where we've forgotten to apply a check mark. Right? So, just press enter twice even this is also in previous period save it and one more transaction i'm going to post guys so three transactions are more than enough okay now so any cl can be given i'm just taking one gl itself and now 2500 and here once again 2020 credit 2500 Control S. Okay, so what is happening, guys? Uh, three transactions I have posted. Three transactions I have posted. Now just have a look. FBL 5N. Press enter here. Now, so sorry, I have given a wrong code here. Slash N FBL 3N for GL, right? We have to check this real balance. Now, if you execute here, then what is happening? Here, there should be open item symbol supposed to appear, which is not appearing. Why it is not appearing, guys? Because it is open item managed jail that you know, I know, but system SAP doesn't know. Why? Because SAP doesn't know in the sense SAP is not having any connectivity with our mind, right? So here, whatever the input, whatever the input has been given, here, based on that itself, the house output can be expected. So in input, what is happening? We have not applied a check mark here on open item management. So SAP doesn't know. And this is why this GL is not set up as open item managed GL. So this is a mistake. Okay, this is a mistake. Now, let's suppose if you are going to apply a check mark as an open item manage, management, it, it means like, let's suppose the user has realized and then what is happening? We are going to edit this year account. Click on change button, apply a check mark here and save it. Control is look at here. System is saying that you cannot change the open item management setting. It means the setting cannot be changed. Okay, this this cannot be done. Okay, this cannot be done. So what to do? Okay, no changes has been carried out. So now what to do guys? So I'll tell you generally, if you are going to change it directly, if you're going to edit this real directly, then it is not going to accept. It is not going to accept. What is happening guys for that? We have to run a different transaction code. Open on your screen. I'll tell you guys, even if you search on Google, uh, there are lots of different, different, uh, what to say, uh, solutions has been given by people. Uh, of course, few of them is correct and few of them is quite old, which is going to confuse you like people will say create a different GL and transfer the balances and all. So guys from ECC 6.0, we are going to follow this transaction. Okay, whichever the old answers you guys are getting, don't look at those answers and all. And even just follow this video, it's going to be more than enough. Need not to look at anywhere. 
So now here, this is the transaction code. F A G L activate underscore O P. Okay. Look at here. This is the transaction code slash N. Don't use slash N. Now F A G L F A G L underscore activate. Okay. Underscore O P. This is the transaction code. You have to run this transaction code. Press enter. Okay. Keep in your mind. Or is, you can note it down somewhere and give your company code. So I'm going to give the company code against which the GL has been set up. And here, whichever GL, whichever GL, like whatever GL need to be activated as an open item manager GL. So you have to give that GL number. What is this switch on? Switch on guys, it's a date and which date is going to be specified. So you look at here. Look at here, whatever this yield, let's suppose it, 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 whether it is 100 items or 200 items or five items, whatever transactions are there, you have to look when the first document was posted. OK, so look at here. This is the first document was posted. OK, even you can apply this. You can sort uh, date wise. Also, you can apply this. You can sort out. You can apply a sort here so that date wise ascending and descending order it is going to appear so this is how you will come to know very easily so here since we are having only three transactions so i am able to i i can easily find out that 0101 2019 this is the date where i posted first document so here switch on date will be just before that any date belongs to the previous period okay so what is the previous period 0101 2019 it means before that we are having the 12th month December, right? If you talk about the period, then it is going to be ninth period of 2018. So, okay, we'll give any any date. Just give 31st Jan itself, 31st December itself, 2018. Give 31st December 2018. Nothing is apart from this. First of all, you have to run. You have to execute in test mode, okay? So that we can come to know if any error is taking place, then what will happen? That error is going to come under log. How I'll just show you guys. Click on execute here. Okay, look at here. Log is generated, but here I don't I, I, I don't find any error because all are in green color itself. Whatever the yellow color uh, symbol is there, that is called a warning message. So even warning can be ignored very easily. Okay. If any red color, if any red color symbol will be there, then that is a matter of concern. You have to look into that. What is the error? Which, which error has taken place. So there is no any error. None of the error has taken place, guys. It means everything is perfect. So what we have to do, apply, just remove, remove this check mark, test run, and then you have to execute in background. In foreground, it is not possible, okay? So what you have to do, you have to execute this in background. So one batch will be created, you just, Click on program and click on execute in background. Click on execute in background. Here you have to give standard output device and then press enter. Press enter once again. Press enter here and click on immediate. And then save it. OK, so now look at here. So one background job was created. So guys, this background job was created. Now our work is done. Why? Because in background system has changed. System has changed. Whatever this, uh, what to say, transactions are there, that got changed as an open item. And why it got changed very soon? Because only three transactions are there, right? And only three transactions are there, so it will not take much time. So how you will come to know whether this is this got changed or not? This this transactions become open item managed or not? So you just need to click on list and then click on refresh and just have a look look at here now all the transactions if you keep your cursor whatever these transactions are there all transactions become open item all the transactions are open item now here uh what is the impact on gl account guys so just come on fs00 screen here is fs00 okay it just select and click on update okay once you click on update then what is happening we are having liabilities here just click on display 
look at here automatically the check mark got applied here it means checkbox is updated check mark is updated here so what is happening guys which transaction code we have to use the transaction code i have already shown here it is fagl underscore activate underscore op okay this is how we are going to this is how we are going to apply a check mark if you forget any so here if the user is uh, you know user forgotten to apply a check mark on open item uh, what is a checkbox while creation of gl then what is happening we have to run a transaction code that is fagl underscore activate underscore op and in that you have to give the required input and once we and then we have to execute in background once it is executed then what is happening a background job will be created and after a few seconds what is happening all the line items are going to be converted and it is going to be changed into open item open item and even the gl account is also the check mark is going to be uh, what to say applied automatically on this open item uh, uh, checkbox so that's all guys that's all uh, in this session and that's all for today so do subscribe this channel guys to get notifications for all upcoming videos and update and if anyone is looking for SAP for online training then kindly visit my website kumarconsulting.in or even you can call me at this given number here so that's all in this session guys see you again uh, in the new videos with a new topic till then just bye bye have a good day